lens weight estimation. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how we can actually calculate weight of a different kind of lens. For example, in this image, we can see a lens that has two caps and a conical sector and a straight cylinder. We can decompose each lens with three sub-segments. The spherical segment that we call it cap, truncated cone, or simply we call it cone, or right circular cylinder, which we call it disc, which looks like a disc. So for example, for this lens, we have two caps, we call it a, spher a spherical segment, truncated cone, and right circular cylinder. So for the cap, which for example, for this lens, we have a, a cap, which the diameter is D. There is an equation for sagittal depth, which is the distance from the top part of the lens to the bottom part. And sagittal depth can be measured using this equation, which is R minus S square root of R2 minus D2 over four. This is the sagittal depth versus the diameter. So for example, if the diameter is 2R, then the sagittal depth can be, is R, I mean simply. And then when we find the sagittal depth, based on the sagittal depth, we can actually calculate the weight of the cap. So for actually calculating the weight of the cap, we need the density of the material, which usually is glass. For example, for NBK7, we put the density of the glass times pi S2, which is the sagittal depth that we find before, to the power of 2, times R minus S over 3. S is the same, the sagittal depth. That was, that's the equation that you have for uh, calculating the cap. For truncated cone, when we have a truncated cone, which is a circular shape, we have D2, D1, and D2. The thickness is L. So the weight of the cone is, I mean, the same scenario. It's always density times volume, which uh, we are calculating the volume of this uh, truncated cone. is pi L D1 to the power of 2 plus D1, D2 plus d2 to the power of 2 divided by 12. That's the method that we use for calculating the weight of a cone. For disk, which is a very simple case, we have a diameter d, we have thickness l, and the density is rho, so it's pi rho l d to the power of 2 divided by 2. So that's the area times the thickness. So with this equation, we can actually calculate the weight. Now let's look at different examples. Oh, for a spherical surface, we usually approximate all the surface with a spherical surface. Even if it is aspheric, or it can be parabolic, hyperbolic, but we can actually approximate all of those with a spherical uh, surface. But I mean, the only way that we don't, we cannot use this uh, approximation is that when the surface is very aspheric. But generally, we can use this approximation. So now let's look at a plano convex lens. Plano convex lens is a lens that has one flat surface and the other one is a convex surface. That's the reason that we call it plano convex because one surface is flat, the other one is convex. We can decompose this lens into two elements, which both of them has positive sign. We have a disc plus a cap, and we know how to calculate the weight of a disc, and we know how to calculate the weight of a cap. So we, we can actually easily decompose a plano convex into two parts. So for plano concave, which has one flat surface and a concave surface, we can decompose it again to a disc and a cap. But in this case, the cap is negative because we remove material from the disc. So it's a disc minus a cap. And for biconvex lens, which is a lens that has two surfaces, which both of them are convex with two different radii of curvature or the same radii of curvature, we can decompose it with a cap and a disc in the middle and another cap. 
and all three of them has positive values because we add them up together and we can get to this biconvex shape. Now for a meniscus that has one positive surface and the other side is negative, we can actually decompose it to a cap and a disc and a negative cap because you know we remove material from this area. The same for bon by concave lens that have, we have a disc, two concave surfaces on both sides. So we have two caps on each side, but we put negative sign for both of them because we are removing material from the disc. For the disc, we have positive, and for the caps, we have two negatives on two sides. For biconvex lens with conical section, you know, we have two uh, positive convex uh, surfaces on two sides and a conical shape which means that you know the diameter at this element d1 is different than the diameter for element d2 so in this scenario we have a cap we have a cone in the middle we know how to calculate the weight of a cone and we have another cap on the other side and we add them up together to get to the uh, biconvex with conical section and for cemented meniscus that's uh, the same scenario we have a cap on one side we have a disc here but we have another smaller disc in the middle and then we have another cap with negative sign because we are removing material from this side so by adding up this three element minus the cap we can actually uh, calculate the weight of a cemented meniscus with large plano convex element. Now let's review uh, the equations again. For a cap, we have first we need to uh, calculate sagittal depth, which followed by this equation, and then from sagittal depth we can actually calculate uh, weight of the cap. For conical section, for a length with conical section. The weight of a cone followed by this equation and for disc which is pretty simple the weight of the disc followed by this equation so now let's look at some examples example one we have a, a biconvex lens two radii of curvature r2 is 4.5 inch or 114.3 millimeter r1 is three inches 76.2 the diameter is 2 inches. The thickness, we should be very careful. Usually, the thickness is from the, I mean, the maximum distance from these two surfaces, which in this case, the thickness is 0.5 inches or 12.7 millimeter. Now, again, a review, we have sagittal depth, we have weight of the cap, we have weight of the disc. So, first, we need to find sagittal depth of surface r1 which is this surface s1 is equal to 3 minus 3 to the power of 2 a square root of 3 minus 2 the diameter over 4 which is equal to 0 0.172 inch and for s2 we have 4.5 minus a square root of 4.5 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.113 inches so right now we have sagittal depth of S1, sagittal depth of S2. Now for measuring the length, as I mentioned before, we need to have a length of this area. The length of this area, which is the length of the disc, is equal to the total thickness minus sagittal depth of R2 and sagittal depth of side 1. So L is equal to half inch minus sagittal depth S1 minus S2, which is equal to 0.215 inch. So now we have everything based on the equation that I mentioned before. We can actually calculate and the lens material is NBK7 with this density, which is uh, 0 0.091 pound per inch cube or 2.5 gram per centimeter cube. So we put because everything is based on inch imperial system we put the uh, density times uh, sagittal depth to the power of two 
times r minus s over 3 which is equal to 0 0.025 pound or 0 0.011 gram or 11 grams uh, for cap 1 and for cap 2 we use the same equation it's 7 gram for cap 2 now we need to calculate weight of the disc which is which we use this equation uh, which is 28 gram the total weight of the lens is the weight of the cap 1 cap 2 plus disc which very simply we add them up and we get to uh, this value which is 0.1 pounds or 46 grams now let's look at another example uh, example 2 uh, we have a biconcave lens again the material is NBK7 which is a pretty standard uh, industry material the density is 0 0.091 we have R2 which is 4.5 R1 is 3 inches on this side now we should be very careful the thickness is the distance from this surface to this surface which is 0 0.28 the same scenario we calculate sagittal depth of surface 1 sagittal depth of surface 2 using this equation now for the length we have the sagittal depth of R2 I mean side 2 which is S2 here and we have the sagittal depth for uh, surface 1 which is S1 and the total thickness is the thickness of this distance plus this plus this which is 0.28 plus 0.17 plus 0.11 and at the end the total uh, thickness of the uh, disc is 0.57 now we have a weight of cap 1 weight of cap 2 and the weight of the disc which is this central element is 0.17 now because it's a bi concave lens for these two surfaces because we are removing material we put negative sign for cap 1 and cap 2 and plus sign for disc so the total weight is 0.12 pounds or 58 gram or 0 0.058 kilogram for this lens that's the way that we can easily calculate the weight of the lens now let's look at another system we have a biconvex lens with conical shape uh, with conical section in the middle the diameter of d1 is two inches but we taper it to uh, D2 which is 1.75 inch radii of curvature is 4 for this side radii of curvature is 6 inch for this side S1 using the same equation is 0 0.048 S2 is 0 0.097 L the same scenario as I mentioned before we need to find the sagittal depth of S1 sagittal depth of S2 and the thickness the total thickness is 0.88 minus sagittal depth of s2 minus sagittal depth of s1 which is equal to 0.699 this is the length of the conical shape and we have an equation for cap 1 equation for cap 2 as i mentioned before we have an equation for cone which followed by this equation which is equal to 0.5 pounds the total weight of the lens is the length is the weight of the cap one plus the conical section actually sorry cap two conical section and cap one which is equal to 0 0.017 plus 0.25 plus 0 0.015 which is equal to 0.28 pounds or 128 gram that's the total weight of this lens thank you very much here is our some references